From almost the very first episode, the Hollywood sitcom Friends was destined to be a hit. The setup was simple, the characters charming, the whole thing just gelled. For 10 seasons, the friends on the show made us laugh so much, we felt like they were our friends. It's why, in the two weeks since actor Matthew Perry died, there have been so many tears. The character he played, the acerbic yet lovable Chandler Bing, would probably dismiss all the heartfelt fuss that's currently been made about Matthew Perry. But sadly, Chandler's no longer having the last say. In Hollywood, James Burroughs is a revered TV director who's worked on some of the most iconic sitcoms ever made. When he heard about the death of his great friend, Friends star Matthew Perry, he just couldn't believe it. Jim, I, uh, I feel like you've been carrying a hell of a burden. Yeah, it's... I was associated with the show for really the first three years. So I got to know the kids. I called them the kids. And I consider it a family, and I consider myself losing a son and the other kids losing a brother. So it was sad. I was really upset last week, and you know I'm doing stuff to help me not be as sad about it. I don't know how you do that, man. Well, I talk to you. <laughs> you love me, Chandler Bing. <laughs> oh, no, I don't. James Burroughs was on board right from the start of Friends. And I just want a million dollars. And after directing the very first episode, he knew straight away he was working on something yes. remarkable. What was it about the show, about them, when you saw them together? Because in many ways, you're the architect of, of that bond. I, I guess I am, but, you know, you have to have six people who want to bond. The show got incredible laughs, and the people were invested in these characters, and they were all distinctly different, so I had a sense that this show was something special. And what was special about Matthew Perry? Matthew had a way of taking a great line and making it extraordinary by putting the emphasis on the wrong syllable, I like to say. <laughs> he would, can it be any more exciting? Could we be more white trash? He would emphasize words that you would never think of emphasizing, plus his body language was extraordinary. You don't okay, teach okay, that. Okay, that okay, comes okay, with the man. To foster the magical connection that was developing between the cast early on, James Burroughs knew it was vital. They had to be friends off screen as well as on. So he groveled with the boss of Warner Brothers to borrow the company's private jet to take the six cast members on a bonding trip. After the third show, I took them to Vegas, and I literally said to them, this is your last shot in anonymity. You're going to be able to walk through this casino and this hotel. Nobody's going to know you, but that's, that's over after the show premieres. Do you think any of those kids, as you describe, ever really knew how big it was going to get when you had that conversation with them? I don't think they had any idea. But it was great. We were on this jet, and it was, it was terrific. It was so much fun. That's all I'll say. But there was a lot of bonding going on, and uh, no, that's pretty much all I can say about it. What? For James Burroughs, this is his favorite Matthew Perry scene. <laughs> oh, great. This is just... When Chandler is stuck in a blackout in an ATM <laughs> vestibule, with Victoria's Secrets model, Jill Goodacre. When he calls the friends to tell him where he is, because he doesn't want Jill to hear him, he says, Jill Goodacre. With Jill Goodacre. What? Put Joey on the phone. But the way he did it, Joey's the only one who can understand him. With Jill 
Oh my God. He's trapped in an ATM vestibule with Jill Gooding. It was a wonderful moment. How much of the character was he? You kind of grow into your character. And Matt, you know, stepped into that character with about maybe 40% uh, Matt and 60% Chandler. And then okay. it grew to 60 Matt and 40 no, Chandler because they knew how to write to Matt Perry. There was a, a great part written. Uh, Matthew Perry made it extraordinary. But what many people only learned recently was that behind the scenes, the talented actor battled drug and alcohol addiction. Before his death, Matthew Perry openly discussed his problem writing about it in his autobiography, Friends, Lovers, and The Big Terrible Thing. You can track the trajectory of my addiction if you gauge my weight from season to season. When I'm carrying weight, it's alcohol. When I'm skinny, it's pills. When I have a goatee, it's lots of pills. How far along was it, Jim, when, you know, when, when people started to notice, because it was such a tight group, right, that he was having some difficulties? I'm not exactly sure. I know his appearance on screen varied over years. He was heavy in one, one year and skinny in another year. So I was not as attuned to that. They were very protective of him. They took care of him. Again, they were a family, the six of them, and they, they, they helped Matt as much as they could help him. Even with his friend's help, Matthew struggled, continually checking himself in and out of drug rehab. It got so bad, he nearly died a few years back from a burst colon. But more recently, the talented actor had turned a corner. He was on the mend. He was on a good path. He was sober. He, he founded a sober house to take care of other people. It seemed like he'd, he'd kind of got it together and, and was out there doing his thing. You know, Matthew had had his problems, but he was on the best side of himself in the past couple of years. And so it was, it was unexpected. How do you think the others are doing right now? Everybody's sad, still sad. It'll take them a while. I think shocked is the right word, you know, it just, it didn't want it to happen. In his 60 years in Hollywood, directing more than 1,000 episodes of television, James Burroughs has seen a lot, but nothing has affected him quite like the death of Matthew Perry. So, in the coming weeks, months, however long it takes, how will you, Jim, remember him? Well, I'll be watching a lot more Friends than I used to watch, just to, you know, keep him in my... to be able to see him. I'll always have that, and everybody will always have that. There's a record of him. He'll live forever on the screen. It's true, right? It is true. I feel for you, mate. Thank you. Hello, I'm Nick McKenzie. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. Don't miss out on our extra minute segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.